so in the previous class i have discussed <coughs> the angle sum property right what is the angle sum property ma'am can you give a revision yes yes i am giving you a revision only i have started this uh, chapter quadrilateral in that i have told you different i have told uh, different kind of uh, uh, shapes okay and particularly uh, i talked on quadrilateral quadrilateral is a shape of having four sides okay or uh, there may be different uh, different uh, polygons also like if i we are having three it is a triangle four it is a quadrilateral if we are having side five it is pentagon okay uh, mainly we discussed about this diagonal okay so i gave uh, this uh, formula for calculating the number of diagonal n into n minus 3 by 2 okay put the value of n n is the number of side and you will get the number of diagonal based on this formula we did a uh, few questions and uh, after that uh, i uh, have told uh, about uh, convex and concave shapes convex means convex shapes are those shapes uh, in which uh, all the diagonal lies inside the figures okay concave uh, polygons what is the shape of is a shape in which all the diagonal lies the diagonal may lies inside or may lies outside also if there is any diagonal lying outside the figure it means that is a concave polygon okay so like see if uh, i uh, draw a diagonal uh, so this diagonal is outside the this shape the shape is this one and this diagonal lying outside the shape that's why this is a concave polygon okay after that uh, we talked about regular and irregular if all sides and all angle are equal then we say this is a regular polygon okay otherwise uh, it will be irregular after that we did a uh, few question and after that uh, i talked about uh, this uh, angle sum property okay angle sum property there is a formula n minus 2 into 180 where n is the number of side if uh, i give you six side polygon if it is a six side polygon uh, what will be the uh, sum of angle okay sum of interior angle so that would be 6 minus 2 into 180 put the n as 6 okay 4 into 180 4 oh, into 180 360 9 540 4 4 into 180 is 540 degree okay so use this formula and uh, we discussed few questions after that after that after that we yeah we discussed uh, the exterior angle sum of exterior angle it will be constant there is no formula for uh, calculating exterior angle it will be constant for all the shapes it is irregular or regular or convex or convex convex concave type the exterior angle sum will be always 360 degree okay after that Uh, based on this property interior and exterior so angle sum property we did few questions uh, tomorrow also i will give you a uh, few question based on these uh, angle sum property okay uh, and after that yeah we discuss quadrilateral okay quadrilateral uh, it means the the shape which is having four side okay in that quadrilateral we discuss trapezium trapezium what is the property of trapezium uh, one pair of trapezium one pair of parallel side one pair is parallel if one pair of side is parallel then it will be a trapezium okay one pair means this ad and bc here you can see these two are parallel you can say this is a trapezium there is no need to be uh, these sides to be in parallel a, a b and dc okay only one pair of uh, side should be parallel then it is a trapezium okay like this you can say this is a trapezium because one pair of lines are parallel okay after that uh, we uh, we have seen kite kite is a structure uh, of this kind hmm? here what was the property of kind the kite that adjacent adjacent uh, sides were equal okay these two sides are adjacent their length is equal and these two sides are adjacent their uh, length is equal okay and the di diagonal 
in kite the diagonal intersect each other diagonal intersect each other at 90 degree or you can say two diagonal are perpendicular to each other okay so the important property of uh, kite is two diagonal are perpendicular to each other remember this property okay <clears throat> after that we discuss par parallelogram okay parallelogram means parallelograms here uh, two pair of opposite side are parallel okay one pair is this one they are opposite side and they are parallel okay the second pair is this one they are opposite side and they are parallel okay ad parallel with bc and ab parallel with dc okay and they are they their length is also equal ad is equal to bc and dc should be equal to ab okay so uh, now after that we discussed uh, properties of parallelogram the important properties are the length of length of opposite side length of opposite side or you can say parallel side length of opposite or you can say parallel side should be equal okay first property is this one length of parallel or opposite side should be equal second property is opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal okay so what are the opposite angles here b and d b and d are opposite angle they are equal this is the property of parallelogram okay and a will be equal to angle c okay this and third property is that third property is that adjacent angle adjacent angle are complementary adjacent angle are sorry supplementary adjacent angle are supplementary supplementary means their sum is 180, 180 degrees. degrees their sum will be 180 degree means angle b plus angle c adjacent angle sum will be 180 degree okay so two property about uh, angle remember two property that is about angle and uh, the fourth property was the angle uh, the diagonal diagonal will bisect each other diagonal will bisect each other okay so two properties about angle one property is about side and one property is about diagonal these are the four important properties of parallelogram okay so based on these pro uh, four property we did a few question uh, after that okay uh, and now i want to revise few angles okay a few angles like uh, if if two lines are parallel and i draw a transversal okay this is the revision from your uh, previous class okay so these two angles these two angles there four there are total four angle will be there 1 2 3 4 and 4 below 5 6 7 8 okay total eight angle will be there now can you uh, tell me this pair of this angle 1 and 8 they are called as they are called as this one and eight they are called as alternate angle okay they are alternate angle they are alternate angle since they are in exterior side so we will call them exterior alternate angle okay revise these angle because they will be used in this chapter okay exterior exterior alternate angle they are alternate angle hmm? now uh, we will see interior alternate angle okay if these two lines are parallel the interior alternate angle will be these one which is in the inside of this parallel two, two parallel line interior will lies inside between two parallel lines that's why we will call them as interior angle okay they are interior alternate angle okay clear ma'am but my teacher told them that they are alternate interior angles okay no problem you can say you can say alternate interior angle also alternate interior angle or okay. or you can simply say alternate angle okay yes ma'am okay now um, this is uh, about alternate angle okay now these are these are the 
the angle these are these angles are angle 3 and 5 are called adjacent angle adjacent angle or some of you uh, some of your teacher have told consecutive consecutive angles both are same consecutive or adjacent both are same okay adjacent means they are near to each other the angle okay. which are near ma'am okay. but this in seventh only we learn ma'am yes they all will be used here that's why i am revising okay yes. so consecutive angle or adjacent angle or an alternate angle okay and these angles if two lines are crossing each other then these angles are called vertically opposite angle they are vertically opposite angle okay and the last one was last one is corresponding angle the angle on parallel line okay are corresponding angle okay so they are called corresponding angle so make a note on all these angles okay let's do question okay this we have already done yeah <clears throat> now tell me this question about this question can a quadrilateral abcd be a parallelogram if d and b is equal to angle d plus angle b is equal to 180 degree draw first draw abcd parallelogram okay is this a parallelogram no no ma'am no Parallel ma'am it's not a parallelogram parallelogram to opposite side should be parallel to each other hmm? okay this is this is somewhat looking like parallelogram okay we'll give name one a b c d okay if angle b angle b and angle d okay uh, is 180 degree so in this condition in first condition can this uh, a b c d will be a parallelogram or you can say uh, pa parallelogram uh, have this uh, property did i uh, tell you this property about uh, parallelogram opposite angle uh, sum should be 180 degree is this a parallelogram property yes or no this is a parallel parallelogram property or not yes ma'am it's a parallel no no it is not a parallelogram property i told you that adjacent angle adjacent angle sum should be 180 degree angle b and angle c or you can say angle c plus angle d adjacent the d and a their sum could be 180 but opposite angle sum could not be 180 degree okay so this prop this uh, is a wrong statement okay this property is not for a parallelogram okay parallelogram property is that adjacent angle should be adjacent angle sum should be 180 degree now uh, d and b they are opposite angle so if their sum is 180 degree this will not uh, show a property of a parallelogram okay so this is it wrong now ab equal to dc in second statement you have to again you have to tell that for this property this quadrilateral abcd will be a parallelogram or not tell me ab is 8 dc is 8 they are equal for equal you can use this sign double dash okay they are equal and ad ad is 4 cm and bc is 4.4 so in parallelogram definition i told you that the opposite side should be parallel and they should be of equal length here are the equal length 8 8 is equal 4 and 4 point is equal no so this will not be a parallelogram 
this will not be a parallelogram this is also not a parallelogram now let's check the third property angle a 70 degree angle c 65 degree okay angle a is 70 degree and angle c is 65 degree then how about the second condition applied second condition i told you na that uh, uh, the understand one pair is uh, equal but other pair is not equal okay that's why this will not be a parallelogram for parallelogram opposite uh, side length should be equal okay here it is 4 here it is 4.4 so this uh, second will not show a parallelogram okay uh, in third one a equal to 70 degree okay in third one it is given that a b c d a is 70 degree and c is 65 degree okay so this will be a parallelogram ma'am the opposite side should be of the same length ma'am yes yes so different one opposite uh, side should be of same length yes i am saying that so this is statement only here okay you, for third you are what are you for the third one you are telling here yes, uh, sides, sides for the third are not one. given. Your side is not given. Here angle is given. Angle has been given. So what? How will you uh, say that this is a parallelogram or a not? This is not a parallelogram because the yes. AD is not equal to the BC one. See over here in the AD, seventy degrees is there, mm. and BC is sixty-five degrees. The opposite side. The opposite angle should be the same, ma'am. Like opposite angles should be seven. same. Right, right, right. Here, opposite angles are different. So, so you are actually I'm getting confused because you are saying A D equal to 70 degree. Don't say A D equal to 70 degree. Say angle A is 70 degree. Since angle C is 65 degree, since they are opposite angle in a parallelogram property, opposite angle should be equal. And here they are not same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So AD, I am understanding you are talking about the sides, right? Okay. Is this clear for all? Yes, okay. Now tell me. Yeah, this question. This is a very good question. Okay. If you can do this question, you can uh, understand all the angles. All the angles properly. What is the corresponding angle? What is the... Uh, opposite angle, what is the side angle, what is the adjacent angle. You try this question. Till here, I was a little bit fast because I already did this in the class, uh, already revised this in the cl previous class. Okay. Someone from you uh, requested me, that's why I uh, did again. Again, revise it. Now you do this yes, question. Um, thank you. Now, okay, clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am, it's clear, I think. Okay, okay. So now do this question. All of you have to do. You can raise your hand. Abina? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, solve this question. Solve okay. this question quickly. How will you calculate X, Y, Z using the property of a parallelogram? Okay. Ma'am, so um, X is uh, 110 degrees. X is 110. Y? Ma'am, I raised my hand, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she is... Uh, Ma'am, She ma started talking, no? Hmm. Ma'am, so um, the interior angle of O is 110 because uh, the uh, the straight line is 180 degrees. Yeah, the, in the straight line total angle is 180 degree. Okay. So here... Ma'am, so since X and... Uh, Ma'am, since X and interior angle O are... Um, 
in the uh, opposite angle opposite angles hmm. they are equal hmm. so what will be this angle first tell me this angle ma'am can i say that will be 1 110 110 wait wait is she is telling na uh, then x will be they are opposite you are correct 110 now tell me about uh, y and z what will be the value of y and z okay those who have done type your answer hmm. yes ma'am 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 i kept my answer in your personal x, chat y yeah manideep is correct ma'am nitya i got ma'am also z is uh, yes correct correct manideep correct nitya shri y is correct uh, ma'am z z is uh, not correct okay that is wrong x is correct rest of you please type your answer all of you have to do this class is for everyone not for two three people right abhinav 20 z is 20 no no it is wrong Correct, ma'am. And uh, yes, yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, that is correct. Yes, now you are correct, Abhinav. Other than these uh, kids, uh, what about the others? Take interest. This is time to revise uh, everything since your exams are near. if you will attend every each and every class you will solve the homework you will attend the test there is there will be no need to give extra time for uh, this particular subject now it's time to open your eyes i'm can i say how mm. oh, yeah tell me Ma'am, uh, uh, first is seventy. So the angle opposite of x is also one ten. So x is one ten. Okay. Uh, y is opposite for forty. Hmm. So that's why y is also forty, ma'am. Uh, now we have to find. No, no. The uh, y is y will be forty, but they are not opposite angle. They are. They are. Pung. They are. Alternate angle. sorry yeah ma'am alternate angle they are alternate angle see and you can remember from this trick trick if uh, two angle are forming a z they will be alternate angle yes ma'am here z and is the... being formed here yes ma'am ma and when there is a, uh, z and its alternate angle 110 uh, total i'm getting 300 if i add all the angles hmm. but the uh, the interior oh. angle of a uh, uh, For uh, quadrilateral should be three sixty. Yes. So yes. I have sixty left. One sixty by two is thirty. So Z is thirty. Okay. Okay. You can do uh, yeah this way also, or you can directly do see. See, I have told you that uh, the corresponding the corresponding angle, okay, are equal. Here it is seventy. Okay. Here it is. Seven here it is. Uh, if uh, say I if I assume this is a x, okay. So if two lines are parallel, their corresponding angle will be equal. Okay. If it is seventy, this angle will also be seventy. 
or you can say this uh, whole angle will be seventy because but, this corresponding but, angle is seventy. So you can directly. Uh, uh, that they already gave forty, so forty plus thirty is seventy. Yes, seventy equal to forty plus z, and z would be thirty. Okay, so the z would be thirty. Okay, done. Clear for everyone. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, z is thirty, right? Z is thirty. Yes. You can do. You can do in uh, two ways. either you take the corresponding angle concept or you can take the angle sum of a quadrilateral angle sum total angle n minus uh, 2 into 180 yes x plus uh, 40 plus z plus 1110 plus uh, 40 plus this angle will be z plus z i didn't is... take so much ma'am i normally didn't mind okay so uh, by calculation you can show this in a proper way that the total angle angle e plus h plus o plus p should be 360 degree okay then find out the value of z x is x is 1110 okay only z will be unknown you can easily find the z and z will be 30 degree clear yeah? okay now come to the next question yeah if uh, the figure gun and run A parallelogram. Find the x and y. If this is a parallelogram, okay. Do this question only. Both are similar. If this is a parallelogram, find out the value of x and y. X equals to five. Yes. X equal to this uh, parallel opposite side length should be equal. Equals to nine. So three x should be eighteen, or you can say x equal to nine. Okay, and They are also parallel side. Okay, their length should be equal. Ma'am, ma x is uh, five, right? Three x equal to eighteen. X is six. Yes, six. Six equals to six, right? Six. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, hmm. ma and uh, y y is uh, nine. Okay. Rest of you, please type your answer. Y equal to twenty seven. Are you getting the same? Yes or no? Okay, type yes or no. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If I will ask one by one. Then there will be, I think, wastage of time. Okay, you you come. You come and type your answer in the chat box. Abhinav, correct. This is a revision. I can't ask to anyone, everyone, one by one. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you not doing? Do it fast. Ananya, correct. Oh, thanks. Everyone, please, 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 please solve it. Only Ananya, Abhinav, three, four, four people are doing. Okay. So now we will start. Okay. Do this question. This is a very uh, easy. The question is that explain how this figure is a trapezium. Which of the two sides are parallel? Okay, explain how this uh, figure is uh, a trapezium. So remember, recall the property of trapezium that the trapezium is a shape, quadrilateral shape, in which one pair of one pair of opposite side are parallel. Okay, so we have no information about uh, these sides. Okay, we have information about the angles. and the second property of trapezium is that the adjacent angle we have only one information that this pair of opposite line should be parallel one pair of opposite line should be parallel okay 
Now, see, if angle is given, can we prove from this angle that these two lines are parallel? If you can prove, then it will be a trapezium. Use your seven class that I was re uh, recalling you. I was revising you all the angles now. When you said when this is seven class, that concept will be used here to prove that if these angles are given, are they parallel or not? NM or KL, are they parallel? These two lines are parallel or not? If they are parallel, it will be a figure of trapezium. Okay, so can you prove it? Because we only know that trapezium, a shape will be trapezium if opposite sides are parallel. Can you prove it? Yes, we can prove it. If a transversal, see, you can assume that this is a, if you extend this line, it shows a transversal line, okay, which is cutting these two lines, okay, and they are, they are alternate interior angles, not alternate, they are adjacent angle. Okay. Adjacent angles. Yes, they are adjacent angle and we know that uh, if uh, adjacent angle sum is 180 degree, adjacent angle sum is 180 degree, then the line will be parallel to each other. This is the um, reverse of uh, transversal line, right? Are you getting my point? If I say I have two parallel line and I draw a transversal, then I can say that if these two lines are parallel, their adjacent angle sum would be 180 degree. Okay, this is a theorem, A, B. The adjacent angle theorem says that A plus B would be 180 degree. Okay, now you have to prove the converse of this theorem. If adjacent angle sum is 180 degree, then you can prove that these two lines are parallel, okay? So we are doing the second one, we are proving this one. Since these two angle sum is 180 degree, okay? And this uh, line will be a transversal line upon these two parallel line, okay? Since the angle is 180 degree, sum is 180 degree, these two line will be parallel lines, okay? So we have proved from this uh, angle, that these two lines are parallel. Now we are getting parallel lines, one pair of parallel lines. So this will be a trapezium, okay? Now see, hmm. okay. Now you do this question. How will you prove again that this is a, okay, no need to prove the trapezium. Find the measure of P. In this question, you have to find out the P and S. If SP and RQ are equal, they are saying that this is already a trapezium, okay? The question is saying that this these lines are parallel. It means this is a trapezium. This is a trapezium. Okay, find out the value of R and this S and P. R would be, R is given. R is 90 degrees. 90 degree. Mm -hmm. Now find out the value of S and P. See, if I extend this line, the uh, and this and line, 50 degrees, right? Yes, they are adjacent angle. The adjacent angle sum would be 180 degrees. This is 90 degrees. What? 180 degree. Angle P plus angle Q. Adjacent angle sum should be 180 degree. Adjacent angle between two parallel lines their sum should be 180 degree. If this is 130, this would be 50. Correct? Am I correct? And they are also at the same angle. If I extend this line, they yeah. are also at the same angle. If this is 90, the angle sum of S plus R. S is 90, right? Hmm? S is 90, right? Yes, 90. Correct. P is 50, S is 90, Abhinav, right? Now Abhinav is giving. 
अभिनव बिकम ए गुड बॉय ही इज गिविंग ऑल द आंसर अनन्या गिविंग ऑल द आंसर अनन्या नॉट गिवन everyone please give answer if you have any doubt let me know solve this question doubt will come when we will start to solve it if you will not start to solving then you will not have any doubt please do it fast for everyone it is clear it is clear for everyone okay yes ma'am clear okay now we will uh, see some special parallelogram okay some special parallelogram so we will see the rhombus rhombus okay if a parallelogram has all the four side equal then it will become a rhombus okay if all sides all all the four side will become equal then the parallelogram will become a rhombus okay parallelogram will be a rhombus if i make all side equal okay so all sides are equal in rhombus okay so ab will be bc equal to cd equal to ad all side length will be equal now other than this property the rhombus is having the rhombus has all the property of a parallelogram and a kite okay Ram, rhombus has all the property of a parallelogram because it is a parallelogram only it is a kind of parallelogram only we are only making their side length equal okay so all the property of parallelogram will be applicable to this rhombus also okay and the properties of kite also will be applicable to the property of rhombus okay now you can uh, uh, note down in short the property of uh, uh, rhombus is that all four sides are equal and Diagonal are perpendicular bisector of each other. Okay, diagonal are perpendicular bisector of each other. Okay, since here it is given that it will follow a property of a kite. In a kite, diagonal are perpendicular bisect. Okay, so this property will be add here for the rhombus. Okay. you can write diagonal r diagonal r perpendicular bisector of each other what is the difference between a bisector if i say simple bisector and perpendicular bisector what is the difference if i say these are the two diagonal what is the difference between perpendicular bisector and simple bisector okay if i say this is a ab and this is a cd okay these two are diagonal if if the midpoint of diagonal if the middle point of diagonal divide these diagonal in equal parts then we can say they are diagonal are bisector of each other okay they are bisecting each other one diagonal is bisecting means dividing into two equal part bisecting means dividing into two equal part okay one diagonal is dividing the other diagonal in two equal part and other is dividing the first one into two equal part okay so this is the bisecting this is the bisecting bisecting means diagonal are dividing each other okay and perpendicular bisecting means if this is a diagonal and this one is a other diagonal it bisects equally at 90 degrees it bisect equally at 90 degree okay this angle would be 90 degree okay this angle would be 90 this angle would be 90 this angle would be 
okay so the diagonal will be 90 degree apart from each other and bisecting also so this point will divide this diagonal into two equal part this part would be equal and this part will be equal to this one okay the perpendicular means here only that this angle would be 90 degree they will bisect at 90 degree angle okay so be careful while writing bisecting and perpendicular bisecting okay so in a rhombus the diagonal are perpendicular bisector okay okay so this is the main important property of rhombus and this will be asked in a bit type questions it will surely be asked okay so remember this property now okay i'm giving you one question this is a rhombus okay this is a rhombus because uh, all sides are looking equal okay and uh, this uh, diagonal are perpendicularly bisecting each other diagonal are perpendicular see you can see diagonal are perpendicular now find out the x y z okay find out the x y z and x is 5 x is 5 because we have uh, seen that the diagonal will perpendicularly bisect each other bisect means divide in equal part so they this part would be equal to this part would be equal to this part and the other part of diagonal would be equal to this part okay this o is the middle part of middle of this these two diagonal okay so this length x would be equal to 5 x will be 5 and this y will be equal to 12 we can directly say the value of x and y is using diagonal property of rhombus diagonal property of rhombus and, and if it comes in the descriptive type question uh, like a four or five number question you have to write the property of diagonal in a rhombus okay the diagonal cut or bisect each other in equal parts okay now come to the next question okay is there any okay z is also you have to find z is 13 z is 13 because we are saying all side are equal so 13, one side is given. So other three would be 13 only. If they ask this one, W, this will also be 13. And uh, X, sorry, W or J, um, say this is V. This V would also be 13. Okay. Clear for everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, rectangle. Okay. Rhombus is... Then, now see what is a rectangle. Rectangle is also a parallelogram. Okay. Rectangle is also a parallelogram with equal angles and equal opposite sides. Equal angles, all the angle will be equal. That is the main property. All the angle would be equal and opposite side will be equal. Opposite side equal, we uh, say in parallelogram also opposite side are equals. Okay, the unique property of this is equal angle. Unique property of rectangle is equal angle. Okay, and all angle are equal and they are 90 degree. They are 90 degree. Okay, now what is the property? The same property of parallelogram will be applied over here. See, one property, opposite sides are parallel and equal done we have already done this with parallelogram opposite angles are equal okay opposite since all angle are equal opposite angle will also be equal adjacent angle make a pair of supplementary are they making supplementary angle see adjacent pair these are the adjacent pair 90 90 180 degree 90 90 adjacent 180 degree 90 90 they are 180 degree so all adjacent angle making a pair of supplementary angle supplementary angle means the sum is 180 degree that is the supplementary angle okay 
and diagonal r of equal length diagonal will be equal and that is the second most important property of rectangle diagonal would be equal see if question come and you forget about that uh, uh, okay diagonal will be equal or not okay then no need to worry if you forget then what to do just take a ruler and pencil and uh, draw draw a rectangle of any length of any measure okay draw a rectangle only keep in mind this uh, length and this length should be equal then this length this length should be equal okay then measure its diagonal measure its diagonal using ruler you will find that they are equal they are equal in length okay if you forget if you forgot any property of uh, square rectangle rhombus okay just remember their structure and at a time you can uh, draw them and after uh, drawing you can verify that uh, are they diagonal are equal or not okay so when you will draw you will definitely find that their diagonal is also their diagonal are also of equal length okay so this is the second most important property of rectangle and diagonal bisect each other okay it is ever, uh, already we have seen in the parallelogram so all the four angle are 90 degree okay so remember all parallelogram property will be applicable for the rectangle because this is also a parallelogram is a type of a parallelogram rectangle is also a parallelogram okay with all angles equal and opposite sides are equal okay now see square ma'am can we have a quiz yes yes let me to finish this is square otherwise uh, in quiz the discussion of square will become you will find difficulty okay so rhombus what is a rhombus oh, sorry square see remember uh, the rhombus and parallelogram okay if we do the side equal then it will become a rhombus similarly if uh, we do the in rectangle all side equal then it will become a square so square all sides are equal okay it is also a kind of rectangular rectangle you can say all square are rectangle but all rectangle are not a square we will see in the question okay so what is the property of a square all sides are equal okay opposite sides are parallel okay diagonal are equal length diagonal are perpendicular bisector okay so all pro the property is same as that of rectangle you remember one property you can apply the same on square the only difference is their sides all sides are equal length okay and other property will be same as that of rectangle okay now see okay we'll do question this is a type of quiz only okay tell me all rectangle are square who wants to tell no ma'am is this true or uh, false i'm false false all rectangle are not a square or square are rectangles all rhombuses are parallelograms no ma'am hmm? no ma'am all rhombuses are parallelogram no false false or true false uh, uh, 1500 all rhombuses are parallelogram it is true yes ma'am just now i told you that rhombus is a kind of parallelogram only the difference is that here the opposite sides are equal here all sides are equal in numbers all sides are equal in parallelogram only opposite sides are equal and all the property of parallelogram will be followed by rhombus it is a kind of parallelogram only 
it is a kind of parallelogram only rhombus is a parallelogram with all equal side this is a parallelogram this is a true all square are rhombus yes ma'am true all square are rhombus yes ma'am and also rectangles all yes, square are rectangles this is true all square are rhombus that is also true okay true ma'am all square are not parallelogram false ma'am all square all square are not parallelogram false all square are parallelogram see yes ma'am see remember this thing that rhombus whether it is a rhombus rectangle square trapezium they all are parallelogram only they are of parallelogram okay they are of parallelogram only kite is not a parallelogram kite is different kite is not a parallelogram okay other than kite all the shapes rhombus rectangle square trapezium they are a kind of parallelogram okay now see all kites are rhombus yes ma'am false ma'am it is true yes ma'am yes, it, ma it is true all rhombus are kite no no uh, yeah yes uh, false ma'am true ma'am the the e true or f true from both of them true, only one will be true both are true all kites are rhombus f is false no. f is false yes no yes ma'am who can tell okay type your answer the e is uh, true or false e e is no no Ma'am, even is false. Even is false, correct. Yes, ma'am. Even is false. Even is false. All kites are rhombus. It is not true. It is false. Okay, but all rhombuses are kites. Oh, ma'am. Yes, I... ma'am. That's what I was. Thinking. I told you not. See, the kite structure is this one. Adjacent sides are equal. Okay. Is this a rhombus? This is a kite. Is this a rhombus? no because no, all four sides are not equal okay so all kites are rhombus this is a false statement hmm? now see all rhombus is a kite see this is false. this is also false you know this is true this is true how who see in in rhombus we say okay, all okay, okay. i got it ma'am yes ma all sides are equal okay so it it also means it also means that two adjacent sides are equal two adjacent these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal okay the definition wise both definition are same so we can say all rhombuses are kite those who are not in mute please uh, mute yourself i am getting some background noise hmm. all rhombuses are kite okay the f is yes. true. all parallelograms are trapezium is this true? false ma'am false ma'am all parallelogram is trapezium it may be square ma'am rectangle like that so false false just now i told you all parallelogram are trapezium where this see Rect rhombus rectangle square trapezium they all are parallelogram so this one is yes, true yes ma'am but not all are not parallel trapezium right uh, rectangle square and rhombus are not trapezium yes, not all all parallelogram are trapezium all parallelogram we are saying parallelogram means opposite sides are 
parallel yes ma'am so uh, rhombus and square and rectangle are also parallelograms but they are not trapezium right no no but they are satisfying the trapezium property na they are satisfying in trapezium the property is that only one pair should be parallel then it will be trapezium If but one in square, two sides are parallel. Two sides are parallel, but if two sides are parallel, it is okay. Okay, we 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 need c square. This is a square. Okay, two sides are parallel. Okay, and we need only one side. If two are parallel, one is all this. Our requirement is that one at least one side should be parallel. at least one if it is two if it is more than one it is okay for us at least one pair of side should be parallel then it will be a trapezium okay since all the parallelogram have mass is quite a trapezium trapezium two yeah ma'am i also have the doubt yes this is a trapezium in which two side two opposite sides are parallel or it is not mandatory that the other pair would be parallel or not okay it is not mandatory only at least one side one pair of side Mom, should be can parallel can we have quiz yes first tell me your doubt is clear in this or not yes ma'am ma but ma'am is quite a trapezium this is a trapezium Ma'am, but a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides, while trapezium has yes. only one. Ma'am, yes, trapezium is only one. In parallelogram, it is two. But we are saying that at least one. If at least we are having at least one parallel pair, it will be a trapezium. Ma'am, okay. it's quite a trapezium. This is a trapezium. Ma'am, is that a kite? What kite? Yes, ma'am. No, no, kite and trapezium. They both are different thing. This is a trapezium, almost. and this one is a kite. In kite, kite almost a trapezium. Kite is a trapezium. Okay, you are asking this question. Yes, ma'am. Try the kite is not a trapezium. Man, then is rhombus a trapezium? Rhombus, uh, you can draw. Rhombus is a trapezium. Yes. Yes, ma'am. But, but rhombus also a kite, right? Ma'am, but kite is. A... Yes, yes. Rhombus is trapezium because two parallel sides. In rhombus, two but sides are parallel. But ma'am, rhombus is also like a kite is also a rhombus, right? Yes. Yeah. This. So two... why not kite is a trapezium? In uh, C, 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 C. Here. Uh, the opposite sides are this one. This is the opposite side. See, these are the opposite sides. They are not parallel. Opposite pair should be parallel. Um, uh, which diagram are you showing? This one. This one here. Opposite. A B. A B is not looking parallel to D C, and A B A D is not looking parallel to B C. So that's why we. we are saying that kite is not a trapezium but rhombus will be a trapezium because here you see uh, this length this length this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side and their length uh, length need not to be um, parallel okay okay you are correct kite is also a kind of trapezium but i am not sure kite uh, uh, these two lines are parallel or not kite is a trapezium but rhombus is a trapezium it uh, i am sure okay rhombus is rhombus is a trapezium rectangle is a trapezium square is a trapezium okay all these uh, shapes are trapezium for kite i will uh, discuss uh, i will explore more on this okay and i will uh, 
Delhi tomorrow. Hmm? Okay. Right, is it trapezium or not? I will find uh, some more explanation to explain you clearly. Okay. Now see, we'll discuss it tomorrow. Kite is a trapezium or not? Okay. If I forgot, try to remember, uh, rememberize me. Okay. This question. Identify the quadrilateral. Okay. So now you solve few question on these uh, shapes. This chapter is over. Okay. Uh, we will uh, let's uh, quickly we'll play a quiz. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share a link for that. Okay, all of you have to participate. Quiz. Mm. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Okay. Mm. This one. We'll play this one. Start a live quiz. Okay. Classical one. Okay. Continue. Uh, team mode or classical mode? Team mode. Continue. Okay. I'm sharing this link. At least two players. Okay. Everyone. Everyone, please join. Or uh, you can join by code. You can join by code also. I'm typing the code on 397194. Ma'am, it's loading, ma'am. So, better you join with this code. Yes. Hmm. One minute, ma'am. I'm trying to join. Trapezium can be a kite. But don't be this. Ma'am, I'm not able to join with so loading only, ma'am. Okay, okay. So join by code. Yes, ma'am, even for me. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, for me too, it's loading. Loading. What happened by sleeping too much time? Yesterday also the people were facing the same problem. See, I typed... Uh, probably uh, the classical one would be better. Classical is better? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I... Okay. Let me do click on classical. Continue. Uh, link. Okay, now... Okay, I'm going to start it. Start it. Go. 
Ananya Ma'am, ma ma did you share the link? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I shared only to Ananya. Wait, 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 wait. Now, ma'am, if we join with the code, we can join, ma'am. If you join with the code. Yeah, join it. I have sent to everybody. Please join the code. Uh, ah, Bhavya, Rashita. Yes, ma'am. Only quarter and questions are there. Manideep, join the quiz. Abhinav, Nitya Shri. Ma'am, join, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, test done. I mean, push done.
ओके नो मैम आई कंप्लीटेड कैन यू जस्ट रिफ्रेश अगेन Uh, yes, you have completed, but uh, your point is less. Five three zero five. Yes, ma'am. The uh, winner third rank, Anitya Sri fourth, Ananya five, and Matilda sixth. Okay, let me to take a screenshot. Ma'am, who is first? Bhavya. Okay. Okay. So okay, clap for Bhavya. फर्स्ट रैंक हर्षिता अभिनव श्री सो आई थिंक यू गॉट लेस पॉइंट बिकॉज ऑफ द स्पीड राइट योर ऑल आंसर आर करेक्ट बट स्पीड इज स्लो ओके यू स्पीड अप ओके देन इज देर एनी ओके should we discuss that paper now or tomorrow we can discuss hmm? tomorrow ma'am since the now this topic uh, is over na so tomorrow it will be good to solve we can uh, brush up our uh, properties okay so we'll discuss yes, it yes ma'am and uh, which chapter are we going to start next fourth one Tomorrow means day after tomorrow. We will start the fourth one. In the first uh, ten or fifteen minutes, I will discuss uh, the question or this quadrant. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, and that uh, doubt kite is a trapezium or not? That uh, I will try to solve the day after tomorrow. Hmm? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, Mr. Fagundla. Bye. Mr. Fagundla. Bye.